Hello everybody and welcome back to another plan with me. I am planning for the week that was May 3rd through the 9th. This is the first full week of May and I'm really excited to finally be doing May spreads. I feel like we were stuck in April for so long, but I'm super stoked this was the week of Mother's Day. However, I wasn't really like into any of the Mother's Day art or kits this year. I feel like that happened with a lot of holidays so far this year, as you'll see in the future. Um, so because it was May the 4th, May the 4th be with you, and I really wanted to use this kit, I decided to use the Batu Bound Star Wars kit from Scribble Prince Co. and I'm really excited about it. Also, I painted my nails today, which is so weird. I don't like my nails are never, they haven't been painted in so long. Um, so I feel a little strange, but anyway, so we're using this kit. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, I just want to use it. I think it's awesome. So I have FAM3 here. I love all of these boxes. I might try and use all of them. I have some other extras. Um, this was the freebie that was in the kit. I have the doodles, which I might try and use throughout the spread. And then here is the actual kit. I love every single box. Um, I love that there's two scenes. It's going to be difficult to choose between the two. Actually, I could totally do like a open situation there. If I decide to do that, I'll have to get more um, extenders here. But yeah, this is the kit. I love the colors. I'm really excited to be using this. Um, yeah, really not much else I can say. I am pulling in a an older foil bundle. Um, so the core color I'm using as far as foil goes is going to be gold, but I am pulling in the copper twinkle because I feel like copper just looks, oh, it just brings out so much like orange in this kit. It looks so good. So I'm really excited. I just need one extender this week for Friday. And other than that, we should be good, but I want to use like as many full boxes as possible because <laughs> there's so many good ones. So let's go ahead and get into this. I have like the fear now that I'm going to chip a nail, but I shouldn't worry about it too much, you know? I don't know. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to put the doodles to the side, so I'm not going to need those right now. And let's start with glitter. So... Yeah, I was looking at all of the Mother's Day art for this year, and I just like wasn't super impressed with any of it. Um, so I decided, you know what, I want to use something I like think is cool and something that makes me happy. So I picked this, and also for Fourth of July, there was like no good in my opinion Fourth of July art. It just like wasn't. I mean, not that it wasn't good. It just like wasn't anything I was excited about. I was. Just like, okay, like I just don't get, I didn't get excited about any of the art. So as of right now though, I'm using like an older kit, but I'm trying to decide since the week of 4th of July was when we went to the Austin game, I'm trying to decide if I want to switch because I'm using Biggest Fan um, at the end of July, but I'm trying to decide if I want to switch it to that week or not. I don't, I don't know, I need to like stare at the kit I had in mind and get like a visual, you know? So if I'm going to use a scene, I really want to use the scene of the Millennium Falcon with all the stormtroopers. I think that's really cool. I think this would be a cool one to use there. So I'm going to put this to the side for now and focus on this scene to start, I think. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm hungry. I should have ate lunch before filming. I also feel like I put this down weird, but... We're just gonna have to stare at it. It's fine. I love this art. There's like every single full box is good. Like it's gonna be really difficult to kind of narrow them down. Okay, so like I said, I'm thinking about doing that open box there. I'm gonna need another box there though. And I think maybe I'll use like the Mother's Day quote on that particular box. This is from SPC. I like the mother as a verb, not a noun. I think that would be cute. So a box that I'm like cool with covering would probably more than likely just be this planner. And then I'm gonna use the tall box. So that's three. Oh geez, I have wax melts next to me. And then, so three, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then the guy, six. Or I could use her even, but I'm using the tall box that has her in it. Um, Okay, I think I figured it out, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. So let's do, or I don't have to do the open thing. I could just use like half of it. Eh, but I kind of, I don't know. I kind of want to. Okay, sorry guys. So for with the Millennium Falcon, let's do, oh, there's also a full box on the washi. Oh, it's just plain. 
Um, okay, so with the... Okay. Sorry. With the Millennium Falcon, let's do... Can I do the boy? Is that weird? I kind of want to. Let's just do this one. The this is the way Mandalorian kind of shirt guy. We'll do him on Tuesday. Okay, that kind of works. Um, okay, and then like I said, because I'm using the copper, um, there's no like bougie boxes in copper yet, so I just have gold ones, but like realistically it, it works, so I'm not like worried about it. So I'm just gonna put these down. Feels weird having painted nails. I painted them because this morning Reagan was asking for me to paint her nails. The first time I ever did her nails was before we went to the beach because I was doing Avery's and she was like, oh, like do mine, do mine. And I didn't know how I feel like she would sit still. I mean, she's two, so I wasn't quite sure like how she would do, but she's such a little girly girl. She just sat there and admired her nails. It was so cute. So we did the first time we did her nails was before we went to the beach and then we went upstairs today and she saw the nail polish and she asked if we could do it again. And I was just like, oh yeah, sure. Cause like she sat so well. So we did her nails and her toes. And then while we were sitting there, I was like, I should just paint my nails. And I used to own, like if you've been subscribed to my channel for over six years, like for, since I was doing like makeup videos, I used to own the nail racks that, you know, nail salons have. I used to own two of them and they were filled with OPI and SE and oh, what was that other one called? OPI, SE, and there was like another one I really enjoyed. But I would buy so much nail polish. I would spend so much money on nail polish um, because I was obsessed with painting my nails like all through high school. And then I just kind of stopped doing it for a while. I feel like that I did that with like makeup too. So it's funny because now I only own like a few nail polishes because you know, like, I don't necessarily need them. Um, but I own a couple of colors that, like, Avery's picked out. So, it's it's cute. Sorry, I'm, like, spacing so hard. I think I'm going to do the flat line. Which one do I want underneath? I like the flat lays a lot, so I'm just going to use those. But, yeah, I used to own so much nail polish, and now I own, like four or five bottles, all the, all the colors that like Avery's picked. So we have like a pink, she picked a red. We just got this blue the other day and I just got some of it on my paper, which is great. Love that for me. Um, the blue the other day, she picks out a lot of like clear glitters, which I have to explain to her and be like, they're not really gonna show up, but she's down for the clear glitters. But yeah, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. I cannot, like now it's really gonna bother me that I don't know the name of the nail polish brand. Cause it was one of my favorites. I had like a really fun bright pink that I used to wear a lot and I can't remember. S-E-O-P-I, I, I want to say ColourPop, but I know that's wrong. Like I, I know that's wrong, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, but yeah, now I have this like irrational fear that I'm gonna chip them and like they're all gonna get messed up. This is like a Sally Hansen like Insta Dry something or another. And as you can see, it's clearly getting all over my freaking paper. That's annoying. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Oh, I didn't even put the rest of the bougie boxes down. LOL. I'm a mess. And, but Reagan, she constantly wants pink. She is a pink girl. I give her all the options. I'm like, you can do whatever color you want. Avery likes to change it up, but Reagan, she pink, pink, pink. So that's fine with me. That's what we did. And they're like insta dry, so it's perfect for her because she cannot sit still for very long. I mean, same though, honestly. Okay, I really am digging the colors of this kit. I'm so excited to be using it. There was like birthday add-ons and stuff for it too when it came out, um, but I was like, nah, I'm not saving this for my birthday. Cause like, I'm sure by the time my birthday rolls around in December, there will be something else that I'll really want to use, you know? So have to use it now, especially cause I love it. And I don't want to like hoard stuff that I absolutely love. I just want to use it. I just want it in my planner. I just want to stare at it, you know? I've done that for so long where, like, there's a kit that I absolutely love and I just sit on it for years and years and years and by the time I'm like, oh, I could use that kit, it's in a format I just absolutely cannot use. Okay, let's see. So, I do need an extender on Friday, like I said. 
I want to do, oh, this girl's facing this way, which is actually low-key nice. So let's do her on Friday, and I'll do the Boba Fett Darth Vader with the blue and green milk. I really want to try the blue and green milk. I heard it's not that great, but I want to try it. There we go. So then I'll do BB-8 and everything over there. Okay, cool. So let's do my extender box. Andrea just uploaded today, actually, that I'm filming this at an extender video. I probably should have watched it before doing this, but here we are. Making bad decisions, but what's new? Oh, I have a release soon. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I might have to pause. Who knows? I'm scared it's going to peel up my nail polish, but I shouldn't care about that, you know? If you see my head, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I don't know. Okay, I feel like that's the best it's going to be. Cool. That works. And these are pre-bougied extender boxes from SPC. I have the gold one, obviously, because I'm using gold bougie boxes, so it works. So there's that, and then I'll do the BB-8 right here. Perfect. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, cool. So I don't need this because it's the two girls I'm not going to use. And, okay, I feel much better. I feel more confident. Whew, okay. Now I have to get out an extender, just like a plain one to do. You know, and I did that open flap before, but I still don't remember how I did it. Not a clue. Absolutely no idea. So that'll be a fun thing to figure out together again because... <laughs> I don't remember. I actually think I did it last October. So granted, I do have like six months. So on over six months since I've done it. So it's okay to forget things, question mark. I don't know. Gosh, I'm getting like nail polish everywhere. Just like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the little blue. So annoying. Maybe I won't paint my nails ever again. Goodness. Okay. Great, excited. Love that for me. Let's do washi and then I'll figure out the sidebar situation. And this means I get to open up my fun little bundle here. I love copper. Copper is like oh, such a really beautiful foil color. Oh, this is in the twinkle format. It should be available in the shop. I believe it is. I think it is. I think it's called like a misfit. I don't know what the misfit was, but was it one of the ones that had the weird dot? I don't think so. I don't know what the misfit is. <gasps> Just look at that copper with that green. Oh my, let me zoom you in so hopefully my head isn't like, you know, in the frame, but no promises. Okay, a little down a little bit, but manageable. If I just take my time and breathe, I should be fine. Oh, I have to go grocery shopping. Ew. I have not been enjoying grocery shopping, like, at all. I'm just like, it's such a chore. <laughs> like, even doing it online sucks. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> just, Brian, can you just go grocery shopping? I'm tired. Okay, and then we'll do the twinkle bits on this beautiful washi. Okay. Oh, man. I had such a busy morning, you guys. I had to do so much. I planned out all of our Fantasy Wax releases till December question mark because I like have the ideas. I just don't know like I'm they're not how do I explain it? I have the ideas that I want to do but I don't have like all the information on them yet. Like all the minor details. Oop, that went sideways. Um, but I planned out all our releases and they are heavy so I am like stressing out but it's okay because I love what I do and I freaking love wax melts clearly if you watch my hauls um <laughs> oh which I actually need to start my July haul soon because I haven't even started it yet and it's July today is July 9th so nine days into July and I haven't started it yet oh I'm so excited for this I can already tell it's gonna be beautiful Oh, I love it. Okay. Also, I haven't talked about TV shows in like a while. I mean, that's kind of a lie. I talk about TV shows a lot. But I stopped watching Grey's Anatomy. Anybody else in the same boat as me? So I watched Grey's Anatomy 
pretty much all of this current season but i just kind of stopped after their little like mid-season break you know what i just can't do it anymore <laughs> like i loved the show for so many years and i just wanted to stay committed but just i can't i can't do it anymore you guys it's just so boring now i don't care about any of these characters they did the beach scenes and i was like i miss these people <laughs> why do they all have to be dead so yeah I got sad and I was just kind of like over it. So I stopped watching Grey's Anatomy. So. If anything crazy happens, can you just like let me know? Because I don't know. I'm not going to be here for it. Oh, let me get my extenders right behind me. In my super fun accordion files that are really not organized. But yet here we are. Um, I think it's this size that I use. Yeah. Not a wide. Why would I pull out a wide? That's silly. Oh gosh, this thing is heavy. I'm always scared I'm going to drop it and it's full of stuff, so that's not going to be fun. Okay, let me oh, white out the May stuff quickly. Perfection. This looks so good. <laughs> like I'm so excited. Okay, so I need this. So how did I do it? I folded it this way. Right? Like it gets folded like this. If I mess up, I'm not committing to this. Just putting it out there. And then this side. No. Oh wait, I figured it out. 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 Right? 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 Okay, I think I figured this out without even watching the video. Oh my gosh, look at me. Genius. Okay, so then, oh no. <laughs> nope. Okay, so hold on. Oh, let's get that away from there. And then we'll grab this side. I just ripped that. Oh, I ripped it. Because I was being aggressive. It's fine. Wait, so where's the little... Oh, no, Kristen. Your brain is not the smartest sometimes, you know? Okay, so there's my little crease. Can I just... Yep, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that. Put it on my mouse. Get over it. Okay, thank you. I mean, that works for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this side. Was this upside down? Yes, it was. Could you imagine if I did that upside down? That would have been funny. Mm. People that are watching this right now are probably like, okay. 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 We're going to try this. No promises. I'm going to turn it sideways. Why? It doesn't. Uh, whatever. We'll just do it sideways. It's fine. <gasps> I did it without even looking. That's not the box I wanted. I need this box. <laughs> wow. Proud. I didn't even have to watch a video. When I did the little Haunted Mansion one, I had to watch um, Andre's video because I watched it you know i already watched your video but i had to rewatch it because i was not 100 percent. oh yes oh yes oh yes oh i'm proud i'm so proud of myself okay cool i was able to do that and i'm proud yay okay now i'm happy because <laughs> i'm not i'm not as dumb as i thought i was sometimes you know um okay let's do the glitter headers okay so glitter header and then i need to put a fun box in I'm really feeling this one to mark our countdown to Disney, which of course I'm using a Star Wars character. I'm actually gonna try and use as many Star Wars characters in this spread as possible. I'm going to slightly to the other side. Um, because, duh. I'm using tweezers. This is from Fox and Cactus. It's an older sheet. I don't know what she still has in shop, to be quite honest, but it was a little like girl with a lightsaber and I just thought it was really cute because like, you know, she's got her little Leia buns. And then, like I said, it's 26 weeks till we go to Disney, which I am. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so 26. Like, oh, we just need a vacation as a family. We've never had a vacation, just like the four of us. So I'm just oh, so excited. 26 weeks. Um, let me put in another glitter header. Cute. And then I'm going to do the tall box. Did I do this last time where I just like plopped her in yeah good because that's what i want to do 
been really enjoying tall boxes. I don't really want to put my work schedule too much anymore in. I just feel like it's so boring. I was filling out my spreads and it's just like, you know, it was fun like for the time being. But Oh, this just went so crooked. But like, I don't know. I'm just not. Okay. It's not. It's fine. It's just like not fun for me to put in anymore. I don't feel like it's like pertinent information I need to have in my memory planner, you know? Because um, if I do anything exciting like at work, I put it in my planner. So like. You know what I mean, maybe, I don't know. There we go. Oh, I love that. I love this. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so let's do a hexagon up top. I'm gonna use the orange one. Yeah, I wanna use the orange one. Even though I just used orange at the bottom, but I just really like this orange color. It makes me happy. And then I have a May script from Letters to Apollo. It was like a $2 Tuesday. I think she still has stuff similar to this in her shop. Look at that. First time I'm using May, which is exciting. All right, so this is, this is so spread, guys. I have to do overlays still, but like, I'm so excited. I'm proud of myself for like being able to do that. So let's do overlays. Um, I'm gonna start with the Mother's Day one. Like I said, I like the mother is a verb, not a noun. That makes me happy. So we're gonna cover this because that was the point of me putting the planner here was to just cover it with a quote box because that's my favorite thing to do okay now let's focus on everything else hold on okay so i'm going to do two different double box situations okay so i'm just going to cut these i just love this clobber so much okay and then we'll do one here. You know, you can still see some white, but like, it's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna cut this one as well. I'm hungry. I wonder what we're doing for lunch. I thought we were doing pizza, but I think Brian said he wants something else. So I'm interested in what he wants. Cause like, I just wanna like eat. Yeah, I don't really care either way. Okay. And here's this side. Oh, I love all the stormtroopers. They're so cute. I'm so excited. I've never been to Galaxy's Edge. I haven't been to Disney since they built Galaxy's Edge. So, like, I'm just so excited to finally go. Um, I'm going to cut this one, too, for the tall box. I think... Oh, I'm just so excited. Um, ugh, Brian obviously hasn't been there either. Like, we haven't been there together. My kids, like, don't care about Star Wars. So, I'm not, like, <laughs> super worried about, like, if they care or not. TBH. I'm adjusting this. Um, but I'm very excited. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be a great experience. So, oh, is that like, did I cut that weird a little? I'm just gonna cut this little dumb piece off because I don't need it. It's clear. It's clear. Cute. So I did that and then we'll just do this on the boxes. Yep, yeah, I'll just put random ones on random boxes. I have no real rhyme or reason at this point. I feel like I've done a pretty good job here i think i will try and do the ones that are all around on the people like i'll try to do that because i like when that happens but either way i'm not worried about it so i'm excited i do want to get one of the little coca-cola bottles in the little bottle situation i actually asked brian yesterday if he wanted to build a lightsaber i was like is that something that's on like your priority to-do list um because it starts at 200 dollars, which is like oh so expensive and like we both would love to do that, but we both agreed that like four hundred dollars could be so much for our kids at Disney. It could be so much for like food. So we were like, nah, we'll just pass on that and we'll make lightsabers another time. But we saw the like food and wine list of all the booths. Oh my gosh, I'm so. I was telling Brian this yesterday too. We were talking about Disney yesterday. Um, I'm really excited for food and wine because I've been to Disney during food and wine one time and like i didn't really know what it like i knew what it was but i didn't like take advantage of it you know like i didn't like care enough to try the different foods and go to the different booths but i have been watching disney vloggers now for like two three years and all i want to do is eat at food and wine that's like all i've been thinking about in my life <laughs> that's all i want to do so i made my list of like booths i want to hit up and i'm having him make his list of like stuff he wants to hit up i'm so excited i actually i think 
no, not next month. I have one more month, two months, and I can book our dining. So I need to like get our itinerary kind of down so I know what we want to eat. We always eat like the same place. No, that's a lie. We always eat dinner at the same place in Epcot. We always eat in, I think it's pronounced Tepan Iru, which is the Japanese hibachi steakhouse. We always eat there when we go to Epcot, or at least the past two times we've gone to Epcot, we've ate there for dinner, and that's like our favorite place for dinner. I know there's a ton of other fantastic options. I mean, it's literally the World Showcase has so much good food. Also, Rem Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is gonna open, and I'm I'm a real big Ratatouille fan, so I'm very excited. Actually, the shirt I'm wearing on our Epcot day is a Remy shirt, so real excited to ride that. I just really am excited for Epcot. I mean the whole trip, but Epcot specifically. I'm ready to eat. So much good food. They have a freaking donut booth. Like what? I love donuts. <laughs> and a lobster booth and a macaroni and cheese booth. I don't even like mac and cheese like that and I'm excited for that. Okay, I think I found the misfit. No, it's not a misfit. It was just me. Oh, this bread makes me really happy. I can't wait to go to Galaxy's Edge though. Um, I definitely, I wanna get a, like a souvenir for myself, but I'm not quite sure what I wanna get yet. So I'm excited to go shopping. Hollywood Studios is like never my favorite park either. So I'm real pumped. We went to, the last time we went to Disney, I was pregnant with Reagan. I was like 14 weeks pregnant. So that was what, 2018? And it was like around Halloween time. We did the Halloween party. Oh, I just dropped that down. It was sick, but. So nothing was really there, so I'm excited to go. Okay, this is done. I'm stoked on this spread already. Can't wait to do day by day. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Alrighty guys, I am here with the day by day. There is quite a bit of background noise. Hopefully the camera doesn't pay it up too much, but there's like construction and kids are outside playing and it's not too terrible. Also, side note, you know how I was talking about nail polish and I, for the life of me, could not remember what the third brand was that I was obsessed with? I did like a deep dive on Google today and it should have only taken me like two seconds to figure it out. It took me way too long. It was China Glaze. They had a really beautiful pink that I really liked. So it was like OPI, SC, and China Glaze were like my three favorites, if you cared. Anyway, I didn't have my planner or this spread in my planner uh, since I did the base. So they're still kind of like floppy, <laughs> if that's a word you want to hear, floppy. Anywho, let's get started with the day by day now that that is all out of the way. Um, starting with Monday, should be no surprise, I had Starbucks in the morning. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. And then I did kind of like cold egg all day. I'm kind of, I think if I do something different, I guess, at work, I'll mark it in. But for some reason, I felt like that was substantial. Um, so I'll mark that in. I'm going to use the smaller flag because other things did happen and I want to be able to fit that in. I also had a YouTube binge. I'm going to pull my label sampler out. I'm going to use a label for that. I tried to pull in like a lot of Star Wars stickers. I pulled from the little like doodle sheet that was with this release. So or at least I, excuse me, tried to. So we'll see. So for my Starbucks runs this week, this was like a Frappuccino sheet from Fox and Cactus. I'm using, it was like multicolored, um, but I'm just using the brown one throughout the entire spread because it matched, I felt, the best. Well, actually the caramel one matched the best, but I only had one left of that. And then a Starbucks run script. This is from SPC in gold. I totally could have pulled in the copper scripts, but I was like, you know what? I'll just do gold and let the copper on like the full boxes stand out, so... At least that's how I felt. Um, this sticker is from Papershire. It is from the, like, she has two different, like, Star Wars sheets. So um, this is from, like, the newer movies. This is Ray. Super cute. With a work script, again, from SPC. Then for my YouTube binge, from the same Fox and Cactus sheet is this sticker. I have this sticker, which I thought was perfect because... The girl has like popcorn and I don't know, it just made sense. And then this YouTube binge script is from Magical Sticker Co. Oh, you love to see a bunch of scripts. There, there's a day or like two that I have like no scripts on. Really hurts my heart. For dinner, we got Eastside Pies, which is a really nice uh, pizza place here. Um, I want to do that on like a little thing, I think. Yeah. 
So I'll do East Side Pies on a little thing. This is the day that my father-in-law got here. He's like staying with us for a little bit, which is really nice. Um, so I want to use a label for that. I want to use like a fancy label. Yeah, that's what I want to do. A fancy label. And we watch the Netflix movie, uh, The Mitchells vs. The Machines this night. If you've not seen it, it's super cute. Um, I really enjoyed it. The like father-daughter relationship reminded me a lot of the relationship I have with my stepdad. So I liked it a lot and my girls really enjoyed it as well. And I thought it was really funny. The little brother made me laugh. I really liked him. Um, so for Eastside Pies, I have a pizza munchkin from Once More With Love. Uh, for Brian's dad coming, I have this like grandpa sheet from Once More With Love. The grandpa and grandma stickers always make me laugh because they always look significantly older than like both of our parents. Our parents are, I mean like obviously we're young parents, but our parents were also young parents. So they don't look old yet. <laughs> so it just makes me laugh. And then for our movie night, I have a little TV sticker. This is from like a TV sheet from once more with love tv and movies maybe and then a movie night script from spc so that was my monday on to tuesday it was may 4th may the 4th be with you i have to mark that for sure um let's do that on like a no let's i want to be able to write it in so let's do it on like a solid piece of washi i have kind of a larger sticker for it but I'm, i plan on cutting it and then this day is also our six months until Disney. So I'm going to put that on an, gosh, I'm using all these orange little things on an orange little thing. I had Starbucks. Oh, I already used that one. We'll just skip it. We'll go to blue Starbucks. And it was like an intense order fill. I think maybe Andre had like a sale or something because usually I only, it only takes me like a day to fill orders, but two days seems excessive so maybe it was a sale i'll use the other it doesn't fit oh maybe i'll use the circle is that weird i don't know is that weird what do i have oh it says pull orders yeah that may be kind of strange how do i want to do this i guess i'll use a label sure I have to move these up a little bit. Sorry about that. I also didn't think I'd be able to film today, but I had a like an opportunity, which is nice. So I'm taking advantage of it. Hopefully my character stickers can all fit in here well. <laughs> Who knows if they will, you know? So that'll be fun. So for the May the 4th be with you, I have from the Once More With Love Star Wars sheet, I pulled the Millennium Falcon because it was cool. I plan on cutting it just so it fits. Probably just cut off the coolest part, but whatever. Um, don't need those. And I'll just kind of make it look like it's coming in hot, question mark. I don't know. Actually, I don't mind that. It's not terrible. For six months until Disney, this is from that doodle sheet. I just pulled the castle. And the six months until Disney um, is the countdown from SPC. It fits perfectly in a little thing. So, <gasps> yes, it do. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Starbucks, again, same situation. So, I'm just going to pop those in. I kind of think I need to cut some of this off. I also realized my nails, this nail started chipping a little bit. I work with my hands, like, all day for every job I have ever in my life, you know? So I knew my nails would start chipping, but I didn't think about it too much because I don't own nail polish removers, so probably gonna have to grab some of that. And then what did I say? Oh, it was an intense order fill. I pulled the Mandalorian from Paper Shire. I just thought he was funny. And I have pool orders. This is a little bit different. This is from the shop owner sheet from SPC, but I thought it would be, I don't know, different to pop in. Usually I just put in the order script. I feel like that's more fun. Uh, we had canes for dinner. Love me some canes. Then I edited and uploaded. I'll use another little thing. And what else? Did some laundry. Oh, I pulled like weird stickers for laundry this week. So just like ignore me for the most part. I'll use this for, oh, I need to fix that. That's so off. Hold on. 
There we go. Sorry about that. Laundry, and then we had to work on like a joke for Avery. She did before the end of the school year. She did like a countdown. Um, it was like an ABC countdown to the last day of school, and I think Jay was this day, and it was like joke day, so she had to tell a joke to the class. So we like. I went over all these jokes with her and she did not like any of the ones I was f going over with her. She didn't like any of the ones I was Googling, I was finding. Um, I think the one we ended up going with was like something about Elsa and letting it go. I don't remember, but she thought that was funny. So that's the one she used. Uh, for canes, this is from Paper Shire. I have a Raising Cane script from Sugarbox Stickers. It's gonna cover it actually, but whatever, you can see the chicken. Uh, for, what did I say, editing and uploading, I have Baby Yoda from Once More With Love. Let me cut off his little, like, bottom half. Perfect. You can still see his little ears. And I'm just going to put in an upload script. You guys know how it is. I don't, I can't fit all that stuff in there. So, I know what I'm doing. I, do, I don't just upload. Typically, I do edit and upload. For laundry from the doodle sheet, I pulled the little Disney hoodie. Because, oh, and it matches the blue. Perfect. Um, cause I just wanted to use that sheet as much as possible. And then I have a laundry script from SVC. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, it's an almost full script day. And then what did I say? Oh, working on Avery's joke, I pulled a BB-8 from uh, Paper Shire. Cause I was like, I don't know what to put here. Let me just use BB-8. So that was my Tuesday onto Wednesday. Starbucks, excuse me again. Piece of washi. Um, did I seriously, I was doing orders again? I guess so. Um, I guess I did orders again all day this day, so let me mark that. I really don't remember. I'll mark it with a larger flag. And I had a headache apparently. So let's put that in too. I don't remember this week that, that fondly, apparently. Okay, so Starbucks, same situation. For doing orders this day, I pulled Darth Vader. I just threw my tweezers at myself. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I wish you would have seen my face. <gasps> okay, pulled Darth Vader for orders. I have an orders script. This is the one I typically use. Is someone here? Oh shoot, I think Brian's dad just got home. Hold on. I might have to pause. Oh no, it's just the TV. Anyway, orders and then, um, what I say? Headache. For headache, I pulled Obi-Wan. I don't know why. I just didn't know where else I would use him. So I was like, let's just use Obi-Wan for this, for this situation. And then this day we actually got some really great news. Um, we get like emails and texts and stuff from Avery school all the time, but we got a really cool email this day that was basically like, Hey parents, we know you haven't been able to see the school all year. Um, we're gonna do like an open house essentially, but you had to like schedule a time and your kid was your guide So that way you like everybody wasn't condensed together. So Avery had to like take us around um, I don't know when I think we did that the next week or the week after but this was the day We found out we got to go see her school Which I was so excited about because like she went her entire kindergarten year I never saw the inside of her school never really seen her teacher in person um, well, yeah, I guess I had when she put her in the car once but yeah, it was just such exciting news. I was super stoked that we were gonna be able to like tour the school. So I wanted to put that in. I had a very lazy night. I'll do this for my lazy night. And I was just tired, I guess. So is that crooked? Kind of. So I'll put that in as well. Sorry, I just can't. It was like slightly off, you know? Okay. Use. I label then for being tired. Perfect. So for being able to go to Avery School or finding out that we were going to be able to, I got a Best Day Ever sticker from Once More With Love because I was so excited. I like gasped out loud. For my lazy night, I have Baby Yoda from Paper Shire. And a lazy night script from Planet Hannah. And then for just being super tired, this is from Pumpkin Paper Co. They were like cutting something outside, so I apologize. And then this is a tired AF script from Letters to Apollo. So that was the first half of my week. Where is Oats are here? I was like, where did I put my second half? Well, let's move that one in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, on to Thursday. 
my last Starbucks run. I just used orange. I'm just going to skip it and use the last one I have. So I'll just use green real quick. And then I'll use the light color. So Starbucks. Oh, Thursday was really, really boring. So Starbucks and then I had a YouTube binge. So I'm going to use like a half box because like nothing happened Thursday. And I'm going to move this down even slightly so like it looks like it fills the space, you know? Um, so again, this is my last Starbucks run situation. So Boxing Cactus, SPC, Perfection. And then for the YouTube binge, I'm using the same sticker from Boxing Cactus, but in like a cream color. The same YouTube binge script from Magical Sticker Co. I had a migraine this day. <laughs> um, so I'll put in like a little thing. We did a Target run, so green, let me use this, Target run, and we played Cornhole Outside, which is really fun, we played it with everybody, Raven got her little, like, she was like a little lawn chair, and she was so cute, just sitting in it, watching everybody, so sweet, so we did that, let me just pop that in there, see, like, Thursday was pretty pretty boring um my target run oh i'm using oh wait what was i just put in migraine oh i didn't pull a sticker for migraine i was supposed to pull another sticker and i didn't that's okay i'll leave it blank for now and i'll get a well is there like an I, there's no icons in the kit is there there is i was like i don't know um do, 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 migraine 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 should i just use like the, the little stethoscope Sure. I was like, there's no icons in the kit. LOL. I'll just use that because that works. Okay, so for Target run, I'm getting to use my first uh, Fox and Pip cute little Target girls that I got. These are heavy mini size, but I still have to cut it because I made the section so small. So that's annoying, but that's okay. It's my fault. All right, little one. Let's pop you in there. <gasps> I love it. It's so cute. And then I have a Target Run script from SPC. It's going to cover her, so I'm just going to cut off the run part. Because I want to be able to see it. Okay. Target. Cute. I like that a lot. Okay, and then for playing Cornhole, I have Cornhole stickers from Once North Love, so I'm just going to plop that in there. And that was my Thursday. Friday was a little bit more exciting. We had such a long day Friday. So, first things first, it was payday. I need this label for payday. Then we had like a little coffee run, I guess, in the morning. Like nothing too crazy. So, I'm going to, oh, I just used that one. Should I use just a label then, I guess? That seems like a lot. I don't want to use a label. Huh. Blue, but small. <laughs> Blue. Well, there's this work label. Will my coffee cup cover it? I don't know, but we're going to test it. We're going to test it. Oh, it's the same size as a little thing, though. Why wouldn't I just use a little thing? You know what I mean? Let's just do that. So I'm going to grab a little thing for a coffee run. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to even count how many things I need. So one, two. That one I kind of want to be bigger. So that's fine, I'll put that there. And then one, two, three, one, two. Oh, cool, okay. So I'm gonna fix this, because I put it down crooked for coffee. And then we went, this was the first time we ever went to the Q2 Stadium, which is super exciting. It's the brand new stadium here in Austin. Obviously we've gone since, but this was the first time we got to go. It was actually still under construction, but we were still able to go to the Verde store, which is like the merch store. Uh, we went to get my um jersey so it was like my mother's day gift from brian so that was really exciting so it was just us and reagan because avery was in school for coffee run i'm using the coffee cup from the doodle sheet um and it was really fun it was like a fun little date day we went on i vlogged the whole thing it's on this channel <laughs> so you can go look for it coffee run so for going to the stadium i have the fox and pip soccer ball i think i used like every soccer sticker i own in this spread you're about to see that and then, like I said, we did go to the Verde store, which I do want to put in 
We also went to Culinary Dropout for lunch, which oh, I love culinary. It's delish. I, I say this all the time, but you can literally get anything off their menu and it's amazing. The past like three times we've gone, I've gotten the like turkey, someone just scream? I think Reagan's week. Sandwich on like a pretzel bun. Absolutely fantastic. And then we went to the Amazon bookstore afterwards to grab some books. So there's that. So for the Verde store, this is from Planet Hannah. It's one of her icons, just a little soccer icon. Like I said, I've been getting sandwiches a lot from Culinary, so I'm just using a sandwich from Paper Shire. And then for the Amazon bookstore, this is like a reading sticker from Once More With Love. Then when we got home, after we got Avery and everything, we basically binged slash finished the circle. Oh, I'm gonna use this. I forgot I have that. And this was actually the day Andrea FaceTimed us um, to tell us she was pregnant again, which was funny. So do you guys ever do something and then like think about it for three years afterwards and we're like, wow, I'm an actual like jerk. Yeah, so when Andrea told me, I laughed really, really hard. And I feel like just a complete jerk now, but like, I'm sorry, but I just thought it was really funny at the time and I feel really bad because I'm really excited um, for her to have another baby. But I just laughed because like everybody was so sure it was gonna be me. It was not me. <laughs> so I'm very excited for her to have another baby. I think it's gonna give me intense baby fever though. I oh I can't wait to be this little baby. Okay, so that's from Once More With Love. And then for her telling us she's pregnant again, this is a pregnant, I can't believe I saw pregnancy stickers. Um from Coffee Monsters Co. I think I know I have it in my planner when she was told me she was pregnant with Bennett because it was like I remember the spread specifically, I have it. I don't know if I put it in my planner when she told me with Theo because was I planning? I might not have been planning. That might have been one of the weeks that I like skipped on, but I definitely wanted to mark it because it's super important to me. On to Saturday morning, Chick-fil-A breakfast. Um, it's the move always. So I'm gonna mark that in here. Excuse me. Then we went to at home, which I have never been to an at home store before. It was, I want to go without kids because I could probably spend hours in there. We got like a full length mirror and a couple like random things, but I had a great time. And then I did toppings and, ooh, I'm actually going to switch some stuff around. Toppings and then we went on a walk that evening, but I'm going to kind of like switch that around because... I have other stuff I want to put in, you know, so we'll just do that. So for Chick-fil-A breakfast, I have the new, one of the new Chick-fil-A doodles from SPC, the little bag. It's not new. By the time you see this video, it's probably like two, three weeks old or at least released two, three weeks ago, but it's new and exciting. And then this Chick-fil-A script is from Letters to Apollo. I think it's so cute and it's my first time using it. Look how good that looks. For going to at home, this is from Paper Shire. It's like a I don't know it's like the girl putting up a picture frame and i was like this makes sense um, for doing toppings this is actually from the newest release the lush bundle that we just did i pulled two of the stickers off of the sticker sheet to use in this spread because the colors matched so i'm using like the olive branch one. Oh my god that matches really well to mark doing toppings this day this is an adorably amy designs tiny text i actually just placed an order with her today and then for our walk this is like a walking sticker from Once More With Love. But before all that, Brian and I actually went on a date, you guys, for the first time in a really long time. Uh, we went to Walmart and went grocery shopping together. It was chef's kiss wonderful. We haven't, we haven't like done anything by ourselves in such a long time. So I wanted to mark it because it was momentous to me. So we're going to put it in here because it was a date, y'all. Then we had snow cones, our amenity center. I don't know, somebody brought like a snow cone food truck over. So we got to have snow cones, which was really nice for us and the girls. And then I actually stayed up super late this night working. I was up till about 1 a.m. I could not tell you what I was doing now. Not a clue, but I was up till 1 a.m. That's what I wrote. So that's what's going in the planner. So for our date, this is actually from a grocery shopping sticker sheet, but look how happy the munchkin is to be there. And then I have a date script, y'all. We don't go on dates. It's funny, we actually were this close, this close to booking Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights. Just me and Brian, we were gonna fly there for a day, do it for a day, fly home. 
I had everything ready, ready to book, and we decided we backed out of it. We're like, no, we're not gonna go because like it's right before we go to Disney, and like I don't know, but like oh, I wish we can do it because the two houses they've announced so far are Beetlejuice and Haunting of Hill House, and I'm like, that's everything, that's everything. So I don't know, we might still go, but I I don't know. But that would be like an impressive date, right? I think so. But anyway, that was our Walmart date. For snow cones, there's a snow cone sheet from One Smart With Love, so of course I had to use that. And then for staying up late, oh, I have that on the wrong side. For staying up late, I'm using an old, an older Yoda from Paper Shire. So not baby Yoda, but like old man Yoda. So I got a cane, because I, I can't stay up late. I get so tired, I sleep all day. Anyway, on to Sunday, last but not least. It's gonna be a long time with me. Uh, Sunday was Mother's Day, so I would definitely want to mark that because I am a mom of two, and they are my little babies. I also have two cats, but they are my baby. Oh, one of them's not my baby. Millie does not like me, but Ray. Ray is my baby. And we named Ray after Ray from Star Wars. So it was Mother's Day. I did laundry. Um, I also did toppings this day. I worked all weekend long. We'll put that in. And I also filmed, edited, and uploaded. Actually, should I use a... Gosh, I'm just going to keep using little things. Look how many little things I've used, you guys. Proud of me? I'm proud of me. There we go. This is actually a really busy day, but it's fine. So for Mother's Day, this is from Once More With Love. It's from like a mom life sheet, I think. It's just so sweet. It makes me so happy. And I have a Mother's Day. Uh, this is actually a mini holiday from SPC. Both of my large holiday sheets I have, that actually works perfectly though, um, the gold Mother's Day was used, so I'm just going to use this. Um, laundry from the same doodle sheet, there was not another hood hoodie, 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 so I pulled the hat because I didn't want to pull out another laundry sticker, you know, because it didn't make sense for the beginning of the week. And then I have a laundry script from SPC, toppings like I showed you guys before, I'm actually using the 2543 one, these actually match really well. Again, the topping sticker from Adorably Amy Designs, her tiny texts. Look how good those look. So good. And then what did I say? For filming, editing, and uploading, I'm using Leia from Paper Shire. And I have a film script from SPC. Okay. Oh, this was such a busy day. Okay. And then I, we played outside. I don't know if I'm going to... How am I going to mark that? Uh playing outside. I don't have a lot of orange options, so I think I am just going to use a fun color orange label for playing outside. Sure. So I was trying to see what the sticker was. Then we had wings, which I know I can use a small sticker for, for dinner. And then Austin FC played Sporting Kansas City, where we lost. This is actually a pretty brutal loss, to be quite honest with you, because this is when, um, our captain got a red card and that was not good. Or he got two yellows. I don't know, he got kicked. So he got kicked from the game, which really sucked. Um, yeah, so that happened. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna mark this. I think I'm just gonna do another label because we also packed, oh, that's like the same, it's fine. We also packed orders this night. So I'm using this. This is a lot, you guys. Oh my goodness. I don't usually put this much in, I feel like. Without an extender, at least, you know? Anyway, so for playing outside, I pulled out R2-D2 because, from Paper Shire, because I hadn't used him yet. He was like one of the characters I hadn't used that I wanted to. Play outside script is from SPC. For getting wings for dinner, this is an SPC doodle of just some like chicken, fried chicken. Uh, the Austin FC game, this is from Once More With Love. See, I told you I pulled out almost all the soccer stickers I had. And then for doing orders, the last sticker I pulled, this is huge, but I'm going to use the whole thing, is um, Kylo Ren from Paper Shire because I really like Kylo and I wanted to be able to use him. That's annoying that it like stuck to me like that though. Hello? Okay, and then my order sticker is from Simply Beautiful Plans. So, sorry. Oop. So that is the end of the week. I'm going to go ahead and put in all the deco and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished spread. Alrighty, so I used um, all of the deco, and I would just like to say, quickly, Andrea had no right to make all of this deco so cute. I'm like having actual issues with how cute this deco is. I'm gonna actually push this over to the side. 
um because i want to put something else in there because i have some space you know but i'm like annoyed this deco is too cute i just i'm really excited i put some of the little lightsabers in it like various places i don't know how well you can tell i also did not pull in a single one of the copper twinkles because i was like there's a lot going on i don't want to be too too much you know what i mean um but i'm so obsessed with this spread i almost feel like i need to grab another kit because like look how good this spread is really excited about it i hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys